day and night. That's the usual condition now for three weeks now, but yeah. Um, a new package arrived and uh, yeah, let's see what's inside. Okay, so I know or I guess I know what it is and I talked about this in uh, my last video here. Uh, let's see. First things first. <laughs> uh, that's nice. Most probably you cannot read this. Uh, this means, or in, in German it's called uh, Haribo wünscht eine gute Nacht. That means um, Haribo wishes a good night. That's very cute <laughs> and clear skies, I, I would say. <laughs> okay. PS Optics. Yay! It finally arrived after some delivery time now. Very nice, very, very nice. And as you may already know, this focal reducer and flattener is for this machine. <laughs> yeah, so maybe as on my last video, uh, I introduced my new uh, optical instrument, my refractor, uh, my Apple, 90 millimeter Apple. And yeah, this will reduce uh, the focal length uh, to a factor of 0 0.8 volt. And yeah, it's also a corrector. So yeah. Okay guys, so now you know what's inside the box and it's a 0 0.8 volt reducer and flattener for my new uh, 90 millimeter uh, Apple, triplet Apple. Um, I think now the time finally has come to speak about optics and what a flattener and reducer actually does. I will further uh, speak about how you actually connect your flattener reducer to this uh, telescope, which adapters you will need. And I will also speak about back focus. So don't miss it. Okay, so let's speak about flattener slash reducer. Uh, flattener reducer makes three things in principle. First, it reduces the focal length, in this case from 540 millimeter to 432 millimeters, and that's a factor of 0 0.8. Secondly, it makes the image brighter. So it will reduce the F number, in this case from F6 to F4.8. But actually the F number is just a mathematical consequence, let's say, and but in the end, what's important, the image gets brighter. And this is what you want, right? And the third point is it will flatten the field or the view. That means you will get pinpoint sharp stars until the edges uh, of your image of, or your view.
So here I have my 2.25 volt beta Barlow lens and here I have my reducer and those two uh, optical instruments or parts will do the opposite. So let's imagine you have a quite simple optical instrument with only one or two lenses. You will also have a so-called focal plane. And this is actually where your sensor is uh, located, your camera or your eye or whatever. And you will also have a focal length of f0, let's say. Okay, so now imagine you introduce a Barlow lens here and what you can see is the focal length is increased. That's why a Barlow lens is also called a focal extender. So as the name suggests, it will increase or extend the focal length. And you will also have a shift of the focal plane. However, if you now introduce a reducer like this one, uh, as I said before, it will reduce the focal length and it will also shift the focal plane. So this will have major implications for your optical instrument like this 90 millimeter um, Apo. I talked about this in my last video here. And so if you now introduce or attach this focal reducer here uh, to this uh, Apo telescope, uh, it will shift the focal length and the focal plane. And this is also called back focus. That means you cannot just attach your focal reducer here and directly put here your camera or something, but you need adapter, different ad adapters. First, you need information. So let's say we want to attach this dedicated AstroCam to the focal reducer. And what we actually need is uh, information about the distance uh, between the camera sensor and the reducer. So this information you will get uh, from the internet and if you're using CWO cameras um, they very well explained everything you need uh, when it comes to back focus. So I highly recommend the website. So you will need information about the working distance between the focal reducer and your sensor. Then you need first class mathematical information, addition. And what you also need is an adapter. Most probably not just one, but a couple. Now I will show you how you can connect your focal reducer slash flattener to this telescope and I will also show you how you can your CWO camera um, to the reducer. Please keep in mind that I'm using my CWO ASI 385MC color camera and it may has a different working distance your, than your camera has. Okay, I made a sketch here with some calculations. Okay, which connections do we have here? We have a one and a quarter inch adapter or connection. We have a two inch connection here. And if I remove this part, I will have a M63 thread. And that's exactly this side here. That's the M63 thread. And, and that's the M48 thread. Here you can see my short drawing and it's important to know the distance between the sensor, in this case a CWO AZ camera, and the thread of the camera. And this, in this case it's 12.5 millimeter. Okay, so I have my telescope, I have the focal reducer, which I connect directly to the telescope, to the back end of the telescope. And I want to attach my CWO ASI de dedicated AstroCam 
here. Okay. And what you first need is the information about the distance between the sensor and the thread of the camera. And this distance, in my case, is 12.5 millimeter. And what you also need is the information about the total length or distance you will need from the reducer to the sensor. And this is 55 millimeter in my case. So now from the 55 millimeter, you subtract the 12.5 millimeter, and this gives you a distance of 42.5 millimeter. And this distance you will need to fill with different adapters. So what we do is we remove this part to have the M63 thread like this, it fits here. Then we have the M48 part and here I have the M48 to T2 adapter. This will be attached here. here. Okay. And this side now, this side now is T2. And the distance between the yeah, thread of the camera and the T2, we have to fill with different adapters. And here's my calculation uh, on what we will need, which adapters we will need. That's it, actually. So let's do this. All right, so that's the M63 thread. And here it's the same. So just attach it to each other. All right, so the reducer slash flattener is now uh, connected to the tube, to the optical tube here, to the telescope. Um, so as I said, that's the M63 uh, thread and this is the M48 thread. So now I will attach this uh, M48 to T2 adapter. That's uh, six millimeter now. All right. Then we have our 30 millimeter T2 or M42 adapter. We have our 0 0.5 millimeter adapter. And we have another uh, six millimeter uh, T2 adapter. And now we connect it to uh, this CWO ASI 385MC color camera. So first I remove this part. Now you can see the sensor. And we just attach it here. Ta-da! That's it. That's it. And now we have a distance between the focal reducer and the sensor of 55 millimeter. Should be. So here's the end of the reducer, like here. And here is the sensor of the CWO ASI camera. So, short work. 
And here's a nice feature. So if you are not happy with the rotation of your camera because now it's fixed, um, you can just loosen this uh, screw here and then you can rotate yeah, your camera and the rest of your optical train here. And that's very nice. You also have the opportunity to change it here using this one. And that's it. And you should keep in mind that such a reducer is not so lightweight. That's 460 grams or about 16.2 ounces. All right, so that's it actually. So now we attach the focal reducer and some adapters and the CWO ASI camera to this 90 millimeter Apple. And yeah. I cannot wait to test it. As I said last time, unfortunately, we have heavy rain here since I think two or three weeks now. And yeah, but that's another story. I think in the next video, I can show you some images I made with this instrument. And so don't miss it. And yeah, please, if you like this, uh, please subscribe and write me some comments. Um, I'm always very, uh, happy to see some comments and likes of course and yeah thank you for watching and see you next time clear skies